being a messenger requires you to be visible. If you feel strongly enough about your message, you just have to get over it. This messenger idea, which came to me when the idea of the book, The Land of I Can, came through me, and I had a hard time putting my name on the gift book because I people would say, oh, you're the author of, and I'd be like, mm. you know, it came through me. It's not me. Now, I realize now that was just my stalling techniques and that I hadn't grown into it yet, but I put a little sticky pad on my, my computer screen and it says, I said, I am, I've received the message. I accept being the messenger and I will carry the message out into the world. And I did that. And I was passionate about it. I didn't know exactly how it was all going to unfold. Like we don't know the answers to what the future looks like. I just knew that right then and there, I was a messenger and I was passionate with everything that has changed in the world since then there was no social media back then the internet was just up and coming back then so my work was done at local bookstores and the hallmark stores and the gift shops and anytime people would bring me in to you know a church environment wherever it was i was willing to show up and be there in person because th there was radio and i did do some radio but that's pretty much the only way that you could get a message out then. Now we've got Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and TikTok and Google Plus is gone, but you know, it's just um, Twitter. It, it's, it's ever changing and we have so many options. So if anybody does go into a place of who am I to do this, the noise as an influencer is really, really, really strong. So my short answer is that it still goes back to, do you have the passion for you to be a messenger? And if you do, you have to get over yourself. And I'm not saying that's easy. And I'm not saying that you won't trip and fall along the way. I really identify with what Veronica was saying before we actually started, because I too fall into the position of I don't really like doing Facebook lives where I don't have an audience. I'm talking into a camera. I can't see people's faces. I don't know if they're resonating. Now, if I'm doing a Zoom call and I can see faces, I'm fine, even though it's virtual. But just going out into the void is very challenging for me. So I find ways to do it. I do things with people like Anna, who so graciously has included me in this and other programs that she's doing because I get to get my message out and I am willing to overcome being on camera. So it's not a fear. I just don't like it. I'm an introvert. I've always wanted to be behind the scenes working with my clients. That goes back to even when I had the coffee shops that you mentioned, Anna. I was the person behind the scenes making it all work, making sure that things were going well in the kitchen, making sure that everything was going okay in the front of the house, going from location to location to the five locations, making sure that everything was running well, that the team was doing well, that the customers were happy, but I wasn't the person behind the counter serving the coffee and handing out the muffins. I was not the front person. So in all of my work in the world, that's the way I've rolled. However, being a messenger requires you to be visible. If you feel strongly enough about your message, you just have to get over it.